different things how perce people perceive or uh, judge other person on what basis and what is the reason to judge someone these are some of the basic boundaries some of the basic reasons logics in a person mind where he or she perceive an object this is our today topic that what is the different types of perceptions what are the factors that basically affect the perception as you guys already have an idea about tpb and uh, sor stimulus organism response it is very similar to both of these theories like if i talk about perception in easy words perception is like you have a some kind of a raw information and you are just giving this raw information a name for example aap ek koi cheez smell karte hain and if you are a hungry you feel like doesn't matter it is a uh, what kind of a food you are smelling but aapko lagta kya hai ki ye food bahut acha ban raha hai like if you are hungry aur aapke samne hi kisi ne ek biryani ki plate open kar di and if you are hungry ha ha kya baat you will perceive like this biryani has a very good taste this is your perception might be possible that biryani doesn't have a very good taste why you are perceiving it because you are a hungry so what is perception perception is all about getting some information where are you getting information you are getting information from your senses as you have a five senses you can touch you can smell you can listen you can see all these senses give you a basic information regarding an object first information which is actually play a fundamental role or a basic role in the order to perceive something if you guys are looking at the screen see the model model of the perception stimulus is your initial information now here it may comes from your internal or external resources if you are listening something if you are touching something the next role will be played by your mind your thought process that actually will let you know the taste and the quality of that product suddenly or eventually you will perceive that object aapke paas initial information aayi about biryani okay it's a very good apne smell kiya sirf ek cheez ko thought process depend kar raha tha how hungry you were perception ye hui इट हैज अ वेरी गुड टेस्ट इस मॉडल के अंदर आपने वो बिरयानी टेस्ट नहीं की सो इन रियल माइट बी पॉसिबल बिरयानी हैज अ वेरी बैड टेस्ट और मे बी इट हैज अ वेरी गुड टेस्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम द रियलिटी बट स्टिल यू आर परसिविंग दैट बिरयानी एज इट हैज अ वेरी गुड टेस्ट इट्स ऑल अबाउट यूर परसेप्शन as you are a human being there are 100% chances that you may be a wrong while perceiving an object so don't rely on your perception perception ka reality ke sath koi bhi kisi tarah ka bhi link nahi hai keep that in mind perception is all about thought or give the name of 
that information that you are receiving initially koi bhi basic information aapke paas aayi hai usko kuch name de usko kuch humne naam diya hai that's become our perception stimulus the next role of course played by your thought in the end we are perceiving something this is a natural process or this is a psychology of a human the way he perceive an object or perceive anyone we have some steps or the process of the perception first step is we are receiving some kind of a stimuli it could be anything it could be information that you are receiving from your senses it could be something maybe your belief it could be something or some kind of information told by your parents so anything playing or played the first role we are considering it as stimuli a person stimuli the information we are getting from our external environment and the sources we have is our senses now look according to the one research a person has on average basis a person has almost 60000 thoughts in 24 hours but at the end might be possible out of 60000 15 or 20 thoughts you may select them and then keep thinking on these issues now think you have 60000 almost 60000 thoughts or different kind of issues or different kind of events in your mind and you just select out of 60000 15 and 20s to just keep thinking on such issues might be possible you are giving them a priority but see you still have almost 60000 in your mind so you are receiving so many information in a day eventually you will select them to home i have to give priority so you select and then you think first you receive stimuli from your external environment then you select which one should i give priority then what next you organize that organized you think about such issues you try your best to see all the angles what kind of angle we have the first one we have proximity proximity no proximity how you are organizing the information that you receive from senses proximity is like a natural phenomena not a natural phenomena but it's a psychological influence if you see 5 to 10 pupils are moving towards any direction you may consider it that maybe there is something happening or 5 to 10 pupil are looking at one direction it's a psychological impact you you may see at the same direction it's a marketing term which is known as mystery what is the what is the strategy of the mystery aap ek stall lagaye wahan par apni 40 se 50 log khade kar dein now it's a psychological impact jab ek stall pe itna rush hoga to bahar ke logon ko lagega there is something new 
दे मे ऑफरिंग समथिंग डिफरेंट वो बाहर से लोग आएंगे स्टॉल के ऊपर इन दी एंड वॉट विल हैपन अपने जो कंपनी के जो आपने 40-50 लोग स्टॉल के आसपास खड़े किए थे एंड दे वर प्रिटेंडिंग लाइक दे आर अ कंस्टमर इवेंचुअली वो क्या होंगे वो वहां से चले जाएंगे आपके अपने लोग चले गए इट्स अ साइकोलॉजिकल इंपैक्ट और बाकी लोग आ गए दिस इज नोन एज प्रॉक्सिमिटी इन अ ह्यूमन नेचर इन अूमन साइकोलॉजी आप किसी भी जगह बैठे हो एकदम से कार ब्रेक करे यू कैन लिसन द वॉइस ऑफ द टायर आपके माइंड में सडनली आता है कि कुछ एक्सीडेंट हुआ है इट्स अ परसेप्शन इट्स डिपेंड्स ऑन मेनी थिंग्स बट वी आर नॉट डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ऑल दीज योर एक्सपीरियंसेस वी आर जस्ट डिस्कसिंग दैट हाउ you perceive something then the next point is similarity a human is psychologically influenced by similarity aap kahin bhi jaye aapko koi ek insaan milta hai aap suddenly aap usse poochte hain aap fulan ke bhai hain इतने ज्यादा क्राउड प्लेस में वह यू आर आस्किंग आपको लगता है कि उसका भाई है डजेंट मैटर उसका रिप्लाई क्या आता है बट आपने परसीव किया कि उसका भाई है वाई बिकॉज बोथ पर्सन हैव वेरी सिमिलर फेसेस इफ यू गो इन टू द पार्टी यू विल परसीव two person like maybe they are a friend why because they are wearing same dress in in reality maybe they are not friend so similarity psychologically influence a person this is the way you organize the information then there is a difference If you are sitting in the market, you will select or you will prefer to go to the to the shop who has some unique kind of environment or maybe unique kind of a product. आप अगर मार्केट में खड़े हो सब के सब कुछ सिमिलर कोई भी फ्रूट्स वगैरह सेल कर रहे हैं आप अट्रैक्ट करेंगे या आप अट्रैक्ट होंगे उस आवाज से जो सबसे ज्यादा डिफरेंट होगी फॉर एग्जांपल एक चीज आपने मीम्स है आपने बहुत सुनी होगी लाल है एंड दे वर सेलिंग सम काइंड ऑफ व्हाट दे वर सेलिंग डू यू गाइस हैव एनी आइडिया व्हाट दे वर सेलिंग सर तरबूज तरबूज वॉटरमेलन अब इवेंचुअली वहां पर सारे ही ये चीज सेल कर रहे थे बट मीम्स एक ही इंसान की क्यों बनी यूनिक था यूनिक था सो साइकोलॉजिकली यू आर इंफ्लुएंस्ड बाय सम काइंड ऑफ यूनिक थिंग जो डिफर करे अगर आप किसी ऐसे गार्डन में चले जाएं जहां सारे के सारे सेम हो सारे फ्लावर सेम हो एक उर्त में से अलग हो नेचुरली एंड साइकोलॉजिकली वो आपको अच्छा भी लगेगा और आप अट्रैक्ट होंगे वाई बिकॉज इट इज अ डिफरेंट सो दिस इज द वे यू ऑर्गेनाइज द फर्स्ट इंफॉर्मेशन यू आर रिसीविंग फ्रॉम योर सेंसेस एंड दिस इज नॉट it's not depending on you but it's a natural process that when you receive information from your senses to aapke thought tak pahunchne tak these are some steps which is basically operated in your thought process
and when all this information reach out towards your mental approach what your mind or your thought will do they will go for some kind of interpretation that how you are giving statements or interpretation to that information now here you will give information or you will your mind will uh, give such kind of statement or give interpretation in terms of cause and effect that this is a main variable and it has significant impact on that for example if somebody ask you that why you prefer xyz brand you may said they give a very good offers maybe they go, they they give very good discount offers and they have a very good quality so that is the reason in my opinion i basically perceive this brand is much better than others so what will happen next doesn't matter what kind of product that specific brand is launching you will prefer to buy from that brand why because your mind is already prepared and it will give you information in favor of that brand you're perceiving like this it's all depends if initially you get negative information everything will go into negative side and if you are receiving positive information everything will go into negative side positive side the last one will be output it may have significant influence on your behavior as well when you perceive someone that he or she is not a good person in the end you will avoid them in real might be possible there is nothing such like this as you are perceiving but it has an impact of your behavior For example if you are going into class and somebody ask you that that person is not a good guy on a very first day you will try your best to avoid that that man why because initially you perceive that person is not a good guy in real it doesn't matter there are 110% chances that you are wrong and you can be wrong after all you are a human being 